Hello there! Once again, this is Anton from Anton Bay, and look what I found. This is a new McFarlane Superman. This is like the mech suit Superman. They don't even have like different names for him. They just call him Superman. Uh, but he's clearly some sort of like a manga type design Superman, a mech armor. They have animated series Superman. They have traditional Superman. And then they had this guy. And I was real close to picking up the Batman, and I probably will at some point, but uh, this Superman just called to me first. And I am so impressed. And first off, I want to thank you. Thank you, Todd McFarlane, for, you know what, giving me a fucking trading card when I buy an action figure. Do you know how long it's been since somebody gave me trading cards when I buy a figure? Thousands of years. Thank you. Trading card. Comes with a figure. How hard is that? Makes me happy. You know what else makes me happy? fucking stand a, a freaking st a stand it gave me a piece of plastic with a foot peg hole to hold the figure up thank you thank you for that i am dead serious why don't we have stands with our marvel legends I, they're clearly a huge collectible property but uh, nope nope only todd mcfarland's gonna give us stands for our fortnite figures for our new dc stuff i've heard some people complaining about these uh, whatever i think these are fantastic I just think that the design on this thing is awesome. And you know what? I don't think he did half bad design in it either. So like, you got you, basically the same articulation that you have in a Fortnite figure, except only single jointed elbows on these, but you got limited movement because of all of their, their mechness to it. But you got a ball and swivel hinge rotation thing on the wrist, so it'll go pretty much anywhere you want, as long as it's not in the way of the, the gauntlet cuff things he's got. You get an upper ab crunch, and you get a lower ab crunch, neither of which move very much at all, but combine them together, and you get some good arching poses. He certainly can get a good flying arch pose. You got a nice ball hinge. This feels a little bit better than the uh, McFarlane hinge, and I know there's a lot of armor in the way, so it kind of inhibits what you can do, but you know, at this figure's price point, also, you know, these are what, 20 bucks at Walmart? I mean, come on. Now, I picked this guy up at GameStop, so I had to pay 25 but still. I mean, this thing is huge. The paint deco is fantastic on it. I love the sculpt. These giant freaking wings. And, like, I know you're probably thinking, what does Superman need all this stuff for? Well, I think this is just more of, like, an Iron Man, Japanese, whatever, version of Superman. And I really like it. If you're into weirder Superman designs, you know... Because his basic design is kind of plain. What can we do with this? What can we, what can we go with it? It gets pretty cool. So he's got double jointed knees. He's got moderate ankle articulation. He can't kick his own butt or anything. But he does have nice toe articulation. If you're into that, I'm not really a toe articulation person. I think it's unnecessary. But you know, he's got it. I realize he's not, his wings aren't probably showing up terribly great on this red background, but that is just what my background is. It's red, so. His head moves around fairly decently. He's a little bit stiff because I don't want to, like, you know, pop it off or anything. But you get a decent range of motion out of it, especially a character with such a big helmet. Now, the wings, I don't think are articulated. I think they just plug in and they can go like so. So you can like fold them in. Well, okay, there's a ball joint there and then a rotate. Okay, so you can get them to do uh, various things. I think we could rotate that ball. Yeah, you can get them to flip around and do various things. I honestly just like them kind of sticking straight out though. I think that looks, yeah, that looks badass. He didn't come with any guns, but why would he? Why would he do that? Why would he have guns? He doesn't need them. Anyway, I just, I can't get over it. I love this thing. And I know there's probably some like, yeah, it's, is there more posable figures? Absolutely. But, you know, for, for this price point, especially if you look back and you start comparing like some of these McFarlane toys he's making to like uh, your $25, um, what are they? Diamond Selects. I'm... You're getting a lot more posability than a diamond select most of the time. And I'm putting them on par with those pretty much. Considering that, for, for my opinion, 
their their design is very similar to like uh, Play Arts Kai from a couple years ago. Very similar. You got a floating rubber crotch piece uh, that surrounds like a series of of ball joints and hinges. You know, you get your double jointed knees. I feel like they're quite similar in their design for a much lower price point. And I just can't get en I can't get enough of these. I can't wait to get the Batman. So far from this line, all I've got is the Harley Quinn, and she is fantastic. I love her. One of the curviest, best Harleys that I think they've made in quite some time. And, yeah, I can't... I'm surprised at how excited I am over the damn card. Like, I don't even really like cards. But just the fact that somebody thought, hey, you know what, let's throw a trading card in with our action figure. You know, because you should. Give me a little bit of artwork there. Take it. Fantastic. I'm happy about it. Anyway, that is all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. If you see this guy, I recommend him. He looks cool in the package, but in hand, he is much better in hand than I thought he was going to be, and I'm, I'm impressed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later. Bye.